All right, I got a lot of people wanting more information on the car, so I'm gonna kind of go ahead and show you. As you guys see, there's no grill. Um, I was looking into just getting the carbon fiber. Yay, the bumper has new paint on it though. You know, just some bugs. Obviously, you got the top mount intercooler. Um, I didn't bolt it here just to give it a little bit more flexibility because uh, I actually take the bumper off quite a bit. Um, no hood rust whatsoever. Um, I have the JDM, not really JDM, but that's what they call them, quick latches. So you can take off the bumper real quick if you want. These are a little faded on this side. Uh, These are not. Okay. Uh, they are inky vortexes. I'm missing one center cap. Uh, the car is missing the inner inner plastic fender well. I um, haven't really bothered to put it on yet. Um, the rest of the rims do have the center caps. And they're 18s. They're new Bridgestone tires. Real nice tires. Um, if you guys see it got the springs. I don't know if you can see as well, but I also have the conies back there. Um, no rust on the car. Real clean. Uh, the fenders are rolled, so there's no rubbing. Doesn't rub. Only really big body part. Uh, the bug bumper, I would suggest getting it repainted. Um, just starting to peel there a little. I think just from stuff going in and out of it. Tail lights are tinted, no issues. Trunk's nice and clean. The car's pretty dirty right now. It still looks good though. Um, got a little bit of a plasti dip here. Uh, not really a big issue. I just need to clean it off. Uh, I actually used to have the, the bottom half of the car plasti dipped. But again, as you can tell, rubs right off. I've just been a little busy lately. Uh, the white interior, I mean, it isn't the worst, but you know, it's it's dirty. It's uh, 10 years old, you know. Um, ain't much about it. The rip here, it's actually just the uh, the, the thread. Okay, um, so I mean, you can probably put it back together. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the back seat. Again, I got kids, so you know I'll clean it up before it goes. But it's a little dirty. But again, like I said, I mean, there's some like McDonald's fries over there on the floor. The kids eating today. I don't, I don't know what else to tell you about that. Um, that's the uh, starts right up. Uh, I currently don't have the temperature gauge hooked up. I need to hook up a ground to it. The only one I have hooked up is the boost. The air to fuel, I don't, it's more of a dummy gauge. We all know that doesn't work properly. Um, I just drove this car earlier, about five minutes ago. Um, 80 miles round trip. And I mean, the temperature stayed right about there. Sometimes it cruises around 195 because the front mount air cooler cruises gets a little warmer. Um, the defrost fin, I have it. I just took it out. I was gonna actually run this cable through there and uh, I just hadn't done it yet. Um, overall, you know, really nice though. I'm pretty clean inside. Um, could use clean up, you know, like I said, uh, you know, could use a nice vacuuming. I normally keep the cleaner in here, but you could use a good detail. Uh, running right now, no check engine. 92,000, almost 93,000. Um, so almost a thousand miles since I even posted it for sale. Uh, as you can see, idles right around 900. You know, no weird noises. Nice little sound, not too loud, you know. Um, it does have a stock exhaust, all besides the Catless downpipe. Uh, currently have the battery relocated to the trunk. Before it sells, I will have it mounted here. Um, if you're interested, maybe I can mount it somewhere else. Um, but it does have an Optima. It does have Ot gauge ran all the way back. 
positive and negative. We have some extra, you know, it depends on, you know, maybe you want to put it somewhere else. Um, I was kind of going to put it down here, uh, but it ended up not, not wanting to fit there. So not really much I can do there. Um, you know, no rust there really, you know, trunk looks nice, no rust. Again, you know, hood looks nice. Um, no rust on the hood. Uh, I do not have the inner piece because it left it with the top mount or with the front mount. You guys see idling real nice. A little dirty. Um, you know, I do have a stock filter here that comes with the HTP. It just won't, it won't fit. Um, as long as you can see the front mount. Uh, the hot gauge on the back so there's currently no battery there nice clean no crazy rust up here or anything a little bit here where the battery mount used to be but that can be cleaned up um, but again though no rust on the hood which we all know that's the first place to rust uh, you know, real nice new belt you can tell uh, new iron pulley tensioner pulley everything that's the uh, cork sport exhaust shield again a little dirty it actually looks like one of my bolts may have walked out of that man I'm gonna have to get that fixed oops probably the heat walked it out. Luckily they send you extras, the little Allen heads. Um, again, it has the Quark Sport Turbo down there. Nice clean, real low miles. Idles real nice, no issues. Um, the headlights could use a buffing. But overall, I mean, pretty straight car. Doesn't rub in the front either. Um, I also have conies up front. And you can't really see. Um, but I do have the Cork Sport adjustable upper arms. So. Same thing in the back, Cork Sport adjustable arms. Everything, new BBT and stuff. Again, as you can see here, the Coney's the adjustable. Damper up top, I have a little knob in the car. Go for a little quick drive yeah I'll make sure I turned the front one off not the back though um, we'll go for a quick drive um, try to do this with one hand guys it has a little bit of pop um, sometimes when you hit big bumps in the back, I was told that sometimes the conies will do that with the bushings. Um, it's only been happening since it's been under 30 degrees. If it's above 30 degrees, it doesn't do it. I believe it's the rubber in them. Um, but it has rear diff mounts and everything, so that shouldn't be an issue. Um, again, I, I never build boost on this thing below 3,000 RPMs. I just, I never do it. Um, let me go ahead and plug in my seatbelt. That way you guys don't have to hear the annoying beep. Again, I, I never build boost on this thing below three. I mean, I just, it's probably safe to do with the tune I'm on. I just don't do it. Um, because it's just, again, it's not safe on these engines. So I just, you know, I've heard, oh, it is, but I, I just don't do it. Um, 
I'll go ahead and get on a little bit here. I'm not gonna give it full boost or anything. Again, I'm just kind of, you know, pedaling it a little bit. Not really trying to drive the crap out of it. Um, but as you get in here, you can see the... Again, I'm not flooring it, um, but there's not a lot of turbo lag. Um, I'll kind of go ahead and just get on it real good. Uh, just one time, just to show you. There's not a lot of turbo lag for those. I know there's a couple concerned about that, but... Again, you know, um, no smoke out the rear, as you guys can see. Again, I did kind of get on it a little bit hard, but I, I don't hardly ever drive it like that. Um, I do, I mean, I'm not going to lie to you, it's, it's, seen the, it's seen the drag strip a couple times. Um, probably like, you know, three to five, um, three, three to five runs down the drag strip. Um, so the clutch has 15,000 miles on it, but it does have some launches on it. Um, again, though, I, I have the upgraded diff mounts, upgraded rear motor mount, uh, everything to make the car be able to drive it and push it hard on, on a daily use. Um, also, for some reason, it comes with unlimited satellite radio. I don't know why. I, I could have answered you if I wanted to. Um, but it does. Could end soon. I don't know. It could, could end it before I even sell it to you. I don't know. Um, again, uh, you know, inside's a little dirty, but it can be cleaned up real nice. Um, you know, color changing, nine color. It looks like they're they're blinking in the video, but they're not. As it's just the video. Uh, and again, drives real nice. No weird noises. It's only five pounds right there. It's about ten right there. solid car um, I always run 91 in it nothing less um, it had E85 on the KO4 for a little while it doesn't have E85 anymore I didn't I was going to get tuned for that um, again but then I ended up selling I, I have to sell uh, and again any questions the guys just asked me okay Anything you need to know, I can take another video if you'd like. Um, anything really. And you guys see it's nice, running real nice. Um, nothing crazy. You can see the heat's right where it's supposed to be. We were kind of running into a little hard. Um, you know, all these gauges work, everything works. You know, shifting real nice. E brake works. Um, as you can see, we kind of just took it out for a drive. We're driving a little hard. It looks like, you know, 187-ish, what we're getting up to. So, temp's real nice. Um, so. Any questions, just um, feel free to ask. I can take another video, if, you know, like I said, if need be. Um, sorry for the ridiculously long video anything dumb that you know or whatever um again scenes aren't that bad but you know like i said it needs some clean i know french fries up there i know i'm gonna get some mad crap for that i'm sorry guys i have i have four kids all under the age of six so um you know i try to clean it once twice a week that's really all i can do um but again here it is any questions you have let me know